Blocking as an action protects you from most of your opponent's attacks. If hit, you will take significantly less damage than you would have if you hadn't blocked. In exchange, however, you will suffer from what's called block disadvantage if you do successfully block an attack. Block disadvantage can be seen just above the lock in button and typically ranges from about 2 to 5. This amount is how much your next action is delayed by. If you have a block modifier of minus 1, your next action will be delayed by 1 frame. On a similar note, if your block modifier is positive, that means your opponent will instead be delayed by that many frames. You can see how many frames a move takes by hovering over the icon. To see why block modifiers are important, let's take a look at an example. Here you can see a close range encounter between Robot and Cowboy. Normally, if Robot uses Concussive Blast, a 5 frame move, it would lose to Pommel, Cowboy's 4 frame move. As we can see, that is exactly what happens. But if, before this encounter, Cowboy had blocked Robot's Earthquake, he now loses. Even though both characters selected the same moves, the disadvantage from the previous block has put Cowboy in a tough spot. Keep in mind that some effects activate before a move begins at startup, notably Grab. Grabbing gives you a grab immunity at startup, so you can't get 3 frames of block advantage and then get a free grab. Either way, in order to avoid suffering from any block disadvantage to begin with, you can change your block timing. When you choose to block, you should see this slider. This number represents each frame in the future. If the number you set is equal to the first frame you'll get hit, it will become a parry. To go back to the first example, where neither character has block disadvantage, we can see that Robot indeed loses. If he blocks, with his block timing set to 2, he'll get a minus 2 block disadvantage. However, if he sets his block timing to 4, it will instead become a parry. However, we can also see that this is only the case if Robot blocks high. If Robot blocks low, even on the correct frame, it will not result in a parry. This is because certain attacks hit low. In order to parry low attacks, you must block low. But the keen among you might have noticed something. Even without a parry, blocking is incredibly safe. What's stopping you from just blocking the whole game? Well, two things. Grabs and guard breaks. True grabs are completely safe against block, and will affect your opponent no matter their block timing. However, not all moves that seem to grab are true grabs. Some grabs, like Skullshaker or Zephyr, seem like they would grab, but they actually don't, and can still be blocked by blocking. On the other hand, guard breaks seem like normal attacks at first glance. These slow moving attacks can only be parried, and will otherwise affect your opponent as if he or she was not blocking at all. On screen now is the list of all guard breaking moves and all true grabs. Here's a couple other minor things that you don't have to know, but will get you some extra credit. Push block is a new move that pushes your opponent away when you successfully block an attack. It costs 1 meter though. Blocking never goes negative, meaning you will always be actionable when your opponent is, given they do not beat your block. However, this isn't true in combos, and you can go negative if you fail to predict a burst. If you block an attack or projectile, and fail to parry it, any attacks made during the same turn will also never be a parry, even if correctly predicted. If you free cancel an attack and hold it next turn, it will always be in a parry, even if the block timing is wrong. And that should be just about everything you need to know about blocking in Yomi Hustle. But this is only the start of your Yomi Hustle journey. If you want to learn more, check out my other videos, or maybe drop a subscription? Hmm? Hmm? Guys, I won't jump scare you this time, I promise. I promise, there's no jump scares in my other videos either. Except for the ones where they, they're at the end and they jump scare you. And I won't do that this time, okay guys? Hmm? Hmm?